I don't know whether to put my glasses on or leave them off. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to go to the loo really quickly if that's okay. God, I look old. <laughs> but I don't like my accent. They just sound awful, like Scylla Black. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, okay, yeah. This one. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, okay. Right, could you ask me the question again, please? I always wanted to work in a charity setting. My passion stems from the fact that I knew that I had a limited time due to my heart problems and not knowing if I'd live for a certain age. So I wanted to create a lasting ripple effect in my community. Centre 63 is a youth and community centre based in Kirby, in Merseyside. The centre is really needed. Although, on the face of it, it's a lovely place, um, you know, there's a lot of struggle. I found I was getting very bogged down with work and working lots and lots of hours. My stress levels were being affected and I felt I needed somebody to support me. At the time that I met Jean, she had the weight of the world on her shoulders and I knew that the centre was struggling financially and a couple of years beforehand the centre nearly closed. So I just wanted to wrap her up and hug and go, let me help you. Immediately I thought she'd be fantastic for the centre. How can I get it in? We've got no funding at the moment. How can I make this happen? So we applied for a time to shine internship. The Rank Foundation set up the Time to Shine internship programme in 2010 and we did this for two main reasons. The first, to support charities within our network to either survive or to expand their services across the UK. The second, to support people with the right skills and talent to experience a 12-month paid position in a meaningful job. I went to the Job Centre but they told me that I've been signed off uh, for life due to my disabilities. I had observations of like any normal person going to work. I wanted to do something with my life, to show people with my disability that you can work and get paid for it as well. PACE is a small charity in London that provides um, adapted programmes of physical activity for people with physical and learning disabilities. With only myself running the coaching sessions, um, it was clear we needed somebody else um, to help grow the organisation so we could take on more sessions in the future. Alex had been volunteering with us, um, so it made sense for him to apply for the Time to Shine internship. It was really important for me that it came back as a yes because I saw it as my future. I wanted it with every fibre of my being. I felt excited for this opportunity because it sounded really, 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 really good. Uh, I've paid internship for a year, so yeah, it was really exciting, but nervous at the same time. I remember getting an email off Frank saying that Rhiannon had been successful. She just jumped up in the air and I won't tell you what she said. I thought, thank goodness I can start delegating. <laughs> I think I just burst into tears. My first moment was that Relieved that I finally got the job that I wanted. It was a big step for us and we saw it as a major milestone for our development. Rhiannon hit the ground running and has achieved so much and has took so much pressure off me. My role is to focus on the funding for the centre which is of vital importance because without the funding we wouldn't be able to keep our doors open. My favourite part is just spending time with the children because they just make me happy. They generally make my heart happy, which is really cheesy, but it's really true. It's given me an opportunity to do the work that I felt like I've neglected and work that I put on the back burner that I knew I had to do, but just didn't physically have the time to do. Alex's primary role is to take a lead on a lot of the coaching that we do which has in turn helped more disabled people get into sport and uh, maybe fall in love in sport. Oh, good shot. 
our figures are higher um, and we're reaching out to larger number of different areas as well. Aside from that, he's a great person to have around and makes my day happier. Hundreds of charities and interns have benefited from Time to Shine and we want to continue to reach out to more charities who share our ethos across the UK. Volunteers are essential to CAP because we are a voluntary organisation based in the southern half of Northern Ireland and our ethos is to support people from an ethnic background. It was becoming quite difficult to, to run the charity and um, it wouldn't have been unusual for us to have been working 70 plus hours per week and we really felt there was a gap that volunteers weren't getting uh, the support that they needed. I think for any organisation having somebody there full time to support volunteers is absolutely vital. Since I started in my role um, we've got lots more volunteers on board with us. It just means that then that CIP has been able to expand and invest in more people and by investing in more people they're able to reach more people so it's it's not something that's just changed one thing for a year, it's changed many things over the course of a lifetime. Over the past six months I've fundraised £1.2 million to support our core projects into the next five years. Rhiannon coming in and um, raising over a million pounds has just been absolutely brilliant. It helps us to offer, you know, a lot more to, to young people and it's actually life changing because those children wouldn't have the services if we weren't able to bring that funding in. In a time of uncertainty, she's given us hope that we are going to be here for the next 50 years really, that's what I believe. What makes Time to Shine so special is the support we offer throughout the year. Following the launch conference, which is attended by both the managers and the interns, we offer access to bursaries, to training events, a mentoring programme, action learning sets, and a range of networking opportunities. I love that about Rank that, you know, they recognise that as managers and as interns, that life is very busy. And these conferences, they really do help you recharge your batteries. They have different workshops and networking events that allow us to socialise with other interns and managers and share good practice and ideas. I love the fact that we can sit down, have conversations with other interns about their journey so far, challenge each other, be reflective, make bonds for life. They treat us very well. They treat us. It's four stars, a three course meal. The food is really nice. I feel double my body weight. <laughs> Rhiannon's blossomed. She's unbelievable. Um, and now she knows that, you know, she, she knows how much she's grown. And now she's developing her own business, which is a testament to her. To say I work, in, work at a charity to people, Oh, good. Isn't he a saint? My future looks good. Now that I've landed his job, my confidence is back, and now I feel ready to take on new challenges. At the minute, like I'm the kind of happiest and most confident and most comfortable I've ever been, and it's largely thanks to this game because without Time to Shine, I wouldn't have been able to get that opportunity with the charity that I love so much. We really value working alongside our funding partners and appreciate their input into improving the programme year on year. It is helping us breaking down barriers and achieving our dreams. Do you think I've been a good manager? Yeah, yeah you have. You've been really supportive and really encouraging. <laughs> Your nose is getting bigger. <laughs> oh, it's already <laughs> big already. It's in its name, the key is in its name, it's, it is a time for you to shine. What has it been like as a manager having me at CIP? Um, it's been tough, Laura, it's been <laughs> tough. Like. <laughs> uh, no, it's been great. It's um, just been a little bit of weight off my shoulders as well. I absolutely adore it and I don't know where I'd be right now without it. 
it has meant the absolute world to me because I know I wouldn't have had that opportunity anywhere else or the space and I think that it's really changed me as a person for the better. And I don't think I could have done that without your support at all. That's really lovely. And I've definitely become more geeky 